Hi, I'm Steve from High Tech Design Safety. We're a third party product safety certification, verification, and design firm here to help you get your product to market. This is the beginning of our multi part series on product safety. And this first part of the series deals with semiconductor equipment. I'm going to start with SEMI S2. It's a global guideline of EHS requirements, environmental safety and health requirements for manufacturing equipment for the semiconductor fab and for any of the support equipment as well. Um, let me tell you that SEMI is a global organization made up of engineers and other team members from uh, semiconductor manufacturing companies, semiconductor equipment manufacturing companies, uh, local jurisdictional authorities, uh, insurance companies, and many other concerned people, including third parties, consultants, engineering firms, and others who all come together to write these standards. That's typically how standards are written. In this case, SEMI S2 is the overarching standard for semiconductor capital equipment. In this case, it has 28 sections and about as many related appendixes and related informational articles at the end. Now, the scope of SEMI S2, I'm going I'm to grab it from the, the notes here so I can be sure to get you the exact scope. Um, the scope of SEMI S2 applies to equipment used to manufacture, measure, assemble, and test semiconductor products. Pretty broad, right? So that would include everything from um, things in your gas room, um, gas cabinets, um, liquid delivery systems, everything in that fab that comes together for that specific purpose of manufacturing semiconductors. This is an overarching standard, so it includes everything that deals with the product safety of this equipment. It goes from um, the informational documentation that you'll need to read and provide and generate as manuals and documents to support the equipment onto electrical design. Um, and additionally, you'll have a, a, another document from outside for the electrical design of your equipment. Likely, if you're in the USA, it'll be NFPA 79, or it might be one of the global harmonized standards, which would be UL, IEC, ANSI, using some acronyms up front that I can explain later. It'll be uh, standard number 60204 in some cases for actual industrial equipment. It might be the 61010 standard, which deals with test and measurement equipment, your metrology equipment, um, whether it's metrology of the wafer, the air, um, the gases, or the liquids going to the wafer. Um, or it may be one other standard. Maybe it might be a 60950 standard, which deals with information technology equipment and how that enters into the process. Those would be your attendant electrical standard. And then SEMI S2 continues to go on through section by section, allowing you to verify the equipment and its design. Now, notice how I said verify there. Our goal is to help you and your teams design your equipment to the standard at the beginning. Um, it would be like, and I let me use an analogy I use a lot. It'd be like, let's say we made cookies but we didn't know what kind we were supposed to make or we didn't have a recipe. So we might make a lovely sugar cookie, but the goal was to end up with a chocolate chip cookie. You see how you would miss the mark if you'd made sugar cookies instead of chocolate chip cookies. And I know that's kind of simplistic. However, in the case of a standard like this with 28 sections, building semiconductor equipment to the standard ensures that in the end, your product will be conforming and come to market easily. In additional oncoming video segments like this, we'll talk more about each of the sections of S2, and then we'll expand to talk about the related standards. For example, SEMI S1, which deals with labeling, labeling formats, 
and how to put labels on your equipment such that they communicate the hazards. Or um, like SIMI S8, which is an ergonomic standard about how an operator, maintenance, or service person will have to interact with your equipment. Again, thank you so much. If you enjoy these videos, please like and subscribe and give me feedback. Let me know how you enjoy these segments and what you'd like to see more.